so after a lot of hard work I was able to get the motherboard in alright so what we want to do next is probably most likely put in the processor alright so the processor comes with its own fan which is good That is a key. Right, so we're putting in the processor, which I have here. Now you notice that the processor has an arrow. And this arrow, you can see there, this arrow normally goes to the arrow that is in the motherboard where the slot is. So is top left so make sure we align top left drop the processor into its spot there it normally will only fit one way so you so you could bend the your bend depends if you put it the wrong way so this is important and set the lever down then because I only have four more minutes we put the fan in and then we could then we plug in the power supply and then we're good to go so i ain't putting any fancy fans is the hardest part and probably the whole entire thing getting it to hook properly Sweet, it's in, and then we plug in the fan power to the CPU fan. thing right so we should be able to get some power going so let's check it out let's power it up all right so additionally I hooked up the CD-ROM drives and power power as well as the hard drives to the SATA ports and put in the sticks of RAM and that's it should be powered on and good to go hi guys okay we were able to get to the BIOS which is great so we're up and running Thanks again for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel and um, like some of the videos, please. And I'll catch you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.